Greetings, everyone. Allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Jay Hall, and welcome to the guide on how to A plus all the bosses in Cuphead. While it is difficult, it is possible. Together, we're going to get through this. I promise. Up first on aisle two is Baroness Von Bonbon. Now, before we hop in, I recommend doing the two platforming levels on aisle two. The way you do this, you have to beat her once. You don't have to A plus her or anything, but you just beat her once on the easy difficulty if you have to. Head up there through that opening. Do the first platforming level there, get your five coins, then work your way around the top of the mountain. There's a shortcut you can go around up there to grab your second five coins. And once you get those, I recommend purchasing the charge shot. It is OP right now. They might nerf it. So if you're watching this at a later date, it might not work as well. Anyway, purchase this, equip it as your main shot. Then also purchase the charm smoke bomb. It gives you an invisible dash where you can't be damaged at all, can't be seen at all. So it's easy to get out of sticky situations with this equipped. Really helpful in this battle. Now let's get to it! Bon Bon sends a pool of three out of five minions before you fight her. It doesn't matter what order you get them in, they're still gonna be the same health. Up first is Gumball. His attacks are easy to avoid, especially if he comes out first. Make avoidance your priority. Hit him with an X move if you build one up, as it brings him down a lot quicker. Make sure to use at least one X move during these first few fights because you wanna save your full super for Bon Bon at the end. Up next is Candy Corn, and this is where Smoke Bomb really comes in handy. Use it to dash through him as opposed to trying to jump over him. When you're trying to jump over, those little candy corns he spits out can become a problem. Try to avoid dashing in the middle of the screen because he can start heading up and then you'll get hurt while you're dashing. Four well-placed charge shots should bring him down. During this second stage, Bon Bon will start to send out little jelly bean dudes. They can be green or pink. Make sure you parry every pink one you can and take a little bit more time on this second phase if you need to to build up those parries because this is your best chance to get them. And now for the easiest part of the battle, the Jawbreaker. It only takes four shots and I'll let the footage speak for itself. Just watch out for his little tail. Suck on that. And always use time in between rounds to get your charge shot ready for the next boss. Up next is Cupcake. Now at first it does seem a little tricky, but his jump pattern is extremely predictable. The only thing I mentioned to watch out for is his splash damage because it does increase as time goes on after he lands. Save your charge shots up for when he is on the ground and it should only take four of them to bring him down. Bon Bon's final minion that she could send out is a waffle. Now he's not too hard and his attack is pretty easily avoidable. You can only damage him when he's not attacking them, so don't even try to when he's exploding. The explosion will go in eight different directions, but not across the whole entire screen, and then they come back to him. These are pretty easily avoided, as I said, but just make sure you're out of range or duck underneath the one closest to you. In this stage, Bon Bon will whip out her cotton candy shotgun. Now, it will have three different clouds, one of them being pink, but I would not try to parry this as it is very, very risky. Once you take out her third minion, Bon Bon will take control of her castle. Get ready to use your full super move. Once you finish using your super, immediately dash away because if you stay in the same spot, her head she just threw will damage you because it homes in on you. Constantly be mashing your dash button to avoid getting hurt by the head. She does send out a pink candy that rolls along the ground that you can parry. It will bounce you back up, but at this stage you shouldn't need to do it. As long as you hit her with your full super meter, it should only take a few good charge shots to bring her down. That's your first A plus on aisle two. Way to go! Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more guides like this on Cuphead, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel since I hope to be uploading more of these daily until I finish the whole game with A pluses, along with all of you, of course. Together, we can conquer the beast known as Cuphead. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jhall, where I do a live playthrough of Cuphead and many other games as well. I'll also be giving away a Super Nintendo Classic there soon. Until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.